Osage Orange, or uh, I guess there's there's actually uh, a decent amount of, of names given to this tree, uh, Boys Day Arc, um, of course I already said Osage Orange. I think maybe another word for it could be like uh, Bowwood, I think that, that that's sort of the uh, translation. Um, but there were some really cool early accounts of uh, this type of, of wood <clears throat> that actually Meriwether Lewis in the early 1800s sent clippings back to uh, uh, President uh, Jefferson because a lot, a lot of people didn't quite know what, what this wood was. And if any of you have seen this type of wood, <clears throat> You've, uh, on the trees, you've seen the large green fruit that is uh, slightly bigger than, uh, like, uh, maybe maybe about like a good size apple. <clears throat> uh, very sort of like almost a vibrant green uh, with all sorts of um, little nodules just all over it. It's an interesting tree. It's an extremely hard wood. Um, very uh, weather resistant wood. Another name for it is uh, hedge apple. Uh, a lot of people used to use it um, on on farms to uh, <clears throat> make a make a hedgerow, if you will. And um, people use this stuff for posts, all sorts of things. Like I said, it's it's extremely weather resistant. Um, there's been trees that were cut down in the 1950s that uh, the stump is still in uh, intact still actually quite solid and you figure that was a tree that was killed in the, in the early 1950s I believe it was might have been like 1952 um, so that's some years to have something not quite rot so very rot resistant wood and it also takes on a nice patina which is one of the sort of things that I like about it I like how it ages this here is a, is a newer knife <clears throat> in uh, in Osage orange um, this is the rustic Bravo from Lon, Lon Humphrey. And uh, so this this is new. I just uh, acquired this knife uh, within the last week. <clears throat> this is several years old. This is from Gray Wolf Knives. And this is uh, a little older than that. This is uh, this is on my BK9, these, these scales here, from Tommy the Who. He, he makes them on, uh, you can go on eBay. And <laughs> every video I seem to mention eBay. Uh, but you you can go on any video in, um, or I'm sorry, uh, on on eBay, and you can find scales like this. Uh, of course, they come in many different uh, wood types. I like this type of wood. Like I said, it's it's pretty much my favorite type of wood, and and I I do like some of the um, uh, uh, just sort of the the history behind it. Um, that that it, it was. There was basically was an Osage nation of of Indians, and um, they they roamed what would be I guess today would be like uh, Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, <clears throat> and those those types of things. And Osage is a term, a French term. Uh, I guess is sort of like um, warlike is what it would sort of be translated to. Um, but these these Indians were were actually considered one of the tallest race of men in North America, and that is a direct quote, pretty much from George uh, Catlin, who was a uh, painter in the 19th century. And uh, some people had said that they were some of the most uh, uh, the the finest looking uh, Indians ever seen in the in the West. Very fierce and, and uh, courageous, uh, he says that many of uh, many of them were uh, six and a half feet tall, and some some of them were seven feet. Um, I don't know about any of this. Of course, any of you can look into that to see if that part was really true. But I'm just here to pretty much talk about the uh, the Osage scales that I I like, and probably a close second in terms of knife scales would be uh, Coca Bola. I really like uh, Coca Bola. Um, that has a nice hardness to it, it's, uh, you know, tropical hardwood. <clears throat> I like the grain that usually you can find uh, with these 
with the, with this type of wood. It just has a nice, uh, like I said, a nice warmth to it. And I like how how it uh, how it ages. There's uh, not a lot of makers are are using um, Osage. You can see nice uh, Lon Humphrey, nice scales here. But like I said, yeah, not a, a ton of makers are are using it. It's not as popular as. Um, uh, Maple, all right, Coca-Bola, most knife makers, if they're offering, Desert Ironwood is another one, if they're offering uh, wood handles for their knives, you can usually bet it's Desert Ironwood, Coca-Bola, and there's probably Maple in there somewhere. Walnut might be another one. <clears throat> Osage Orange you usually don't find as often. I'm not quite sure the reasoning behind that. Uh, it is a, it is a harder wood, so I don't know if it if it, if that makes it hard to uh, hard hard to turn, you know, hard to uh, hard hard to work in terms of actually doing stuff. But I I don't imagine that it would be any harder than you know some of the other woods that that are out there, desert iron wood. Uh, uh, you know, coca bola. In, in, in that. <clears throat> um, there is that Janka scale for, for hardness. All right. And um, I think some of the hard, hardest being in um, uh, it might even be in Australia. But Osage Orange ranks uh, above, uh, you know, locust. Uh, above maple, um, ab above oak, walnut, birch, you name it. It is far above that in, in hardness. And, and I want to say it's, it's maybe even close to twice as hard on that Janka scale. <clears throat> so if you like uh, something just a little bit different, and uh, I guess this is like the answer to like blaze orange, uh, or, or like uh, yellow Durlin uh, color. This is the natural uh, example of something like that. That if that if you were to drop your knife, you, you could you could find it very easily. This type of color sort of stands out, but nothing too crazy. And of course, as time goes on, it'll stand out less and less. But uh, so uh, yeah, like I said, my favorite my favorite wood, Osage Orange. Great stuff. Um, you check out pictures of people making bowls and spoons and uh, even some uh, like small tables and things. The wood is gorgeous. Beautiful stuff. And like I said, it's uh, highly rot resistant. So you don't really have to worry about too much of that if you're in a wet environment. Uh, anything really affecting your scales. I don't notice any type of major swelling or anything like that. Uh, you know, due to uh, humidity levels. So the wood seems extremely stable on top of that. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. There's a lot of it out there. There's a lot of different types of woods. Osage Orange just happens to be my favorite.